We don't need to go into great detail about how this automated sequencing is done, but basically it uses dideoxynucleotides that are fluorescent, and instead of running four different tubes, you run it all in one tube, and you put all the dideoxys in together with everything you need to make DNA, except that each dideoxy fluoresces a different color, and we have a big, big machine that detects the colors as they come off of a gel. There are now more modern ways to generate the same data. The neat thing about this system was where we would do 300 bases at a time, manually doing actual x-ray film analysis. Automated sequencing could give us sequences of up to five and 600 bases, even 700 bases on a or good night when the moon is full. And now there are technologies that can give us even more. The take home from this, of course, is that you can get a lot more sequence a lot faster. Originally, if I remember right, the Human Genome Project, when it began, uh, was predicted to take uh, 15 years or so. It ended up being done, and I, I forget exactly, but five or six years. Because advances in the technologies for doing this kind of sequencing in an automated fashion. And so what you're looking at is a chromatograph representing the four different fluorescent dideoxys that are incorporated into the different fragments that were made, each of a different length, terminated opposite the appropriate complementary base in the template.